Hey guys, so we're back with another Arkham video, and today's video is going to be the first in a short series where I talk about one of my favorite and, and in my opinion most important aspects of the series, the costumes. I'm going to rank every single one of Batman's costumes in the Arkham series from worst to best, and just to mix it up, I thought I'd go in chronological order, starting with Origins and ending with Night, game by game. So let's get into it. Coming in in last place is the Batman 1 million suit. Now, I just find this suit to be really weird looking and gimmicky. I mean, I usually love seeing Batman in blue, but for me, it just doesn't work here, and the mouthless cowl and overly large bat symbol are just too weird. Props for trying something different, though, as if there's one thing I can give Origins credit for, it's for giving us a variety of different suits from media and stories we don't usually hear about or know about, even though some of them are not actually good designs. D tier. Next up, we have the Thrill Killer skin. Now, this is one from a very obscure comic, so again, I appreciate them trying something different, but it just doesn't work for me. Seeing Batman in orange is cool, but eh, the suit just doesn't do anything too interesting with it. C tier. Then we have the First Appearance skin. Now, don't get me wrong, because it's the first suit he ever wore in the comics, I have great respect for it, but that doesn't make it great. The purple gloves, weird ears, and small symbol? No thanks but kudos for adding in the OG, C tier. Next, we have the Earth 2 Batman skin. Now this is the first skin I think is decent, with an interesting bat symbol and design, but honestly, the shorts just don't work for me and the rest of the design is fairly generic, so nothing too special. They tried and I appreciate it, C tier. Then we have Batman Brightest Day. Now, I kinda like this skin. The white lantern symbol is cool and it's interesting to see Batman in all white, but overall, it doesn't really work for this game's dark, gritty aesthetic. 7 out of 10, B tier. Next up, we've got Batman, The Dark Knight of the Round Table, from a fairly obscure Elseworld comic. Now, if you want to find out more about the story, I'd recommend looking it up. It's an interesting one, but for now, I'll just talk about the suit. I like the red eyes, the bat symbol, and the knight armor aesthetic, but again, it's just a little too weird and unfitting of the game. It's fun to play in challenge maps, but weird in the story. It's fun to pretend that Batman of such a bygone era came to the future and had adventures with his modern day villains, but Otherwise, eh, it's a fun cool suit, B tier. And now another classic, the 60s TV series Batman skin. Because it's a classic suit that was the face of Batman for a few years in an era that, although I don't really like the portrayal of Batman in, it's part of what started Batman on the screen and it was fun and goofy and a lot of people liked it and I mean, I like Adam West a lot, rest in peace, and for that, I respect it, B tier. And from now on, we move into A tier, where all the suits are great, awesome, or even phenomenal. And starting us off in this tier, we have Batman Noel. Now, this is from a, a really fun Christmas Carol spin on Batman story that I'd really like to read sometime. Again, look it up for the full story. It's a fun one. But yeah, this was one of the first alternate skins I unlocked when I first played the game, so I have a soft spot for it. It's a fun suit with an interesting bat symbol design that meshes it together with the cape, and yeah. It's just a really good, simple, but effective suit, and I like it a lot, even if it's fairly basic. Next up is the Red Sun skin, from one of the most interesting and popular Elseworld stories in DC history, where Superman was born in Russia, and Batman was a ruthless anarchist bent on revenge and killing Superman, so... Yeah. Great animated adaptation, too, but I still need to read the graphic novel. Anywho, I like this suit. The cowl, the extra gear, the belt, everything's pretty cool. I just wish the bat symbol were bigger and it would have been even better. But yeah, for what it is, I really like it. Then we've got the Gotham by Gaslight skin from yet another Elseworld story of the same name where Batman takes on Jack the Ripper in the 19th century. Really interesting premise. And although I still haven't read the story or watched the movie, even though I have it on DVD, I like this suit a lot. It's very novel, unique, and authentic. I like the big bat symbol, the more makeshift stitched together cowl, and the cape. All great, awesome suit. Then we have one that I have a personal soft spot for, the Injustice costume. Now, Injustice Gods Among Us was one of the first superhero games I ever played and one of my earliest exposures to the DC universe. And for that, I'll always love it, its story, and its world and portrayal of the DC characters. Mostly. <laughs> this one you unlock once you've completed every challenge map and, for the record, I have completed every single challenge map and campaign before, except this one because it never unlocked for some reason and it stopped me from 100%. <sighs> and I don't feel like doing everything again right now, so. But yeah, I really like the suit. Sure, the fact that it's a little over detailed and complicated can be a bit, eh. I don't really like the detail above his eyebrows and on his cowl, but other than that, 
I really like this suit. I love the bat symbol, the belt, the armor detailing, almost everything. So I'd say it's worth finishing the challenge maps for, as it was when I did it on my PS3. But I'm playing it on PC now, as the PS3 sadly doesn't work anymore, so yeah. Anyway, amazing suit. Then we have the Blackest Night suit from the Blackest Night comic, where many characters in the DC universe turn into basically zombies and join the Black Lantern Corps. And unfortunately, Batman was one of them. And honestly, I think this suit is super dope. I love the bat symbol with the bright black lantern core symbol embroidered over it and all the detailing of the suit that makes it look super worn out and damaged is great and of course the details to Bruce's face and eyes that make him look wrinkly, injured and well, undead and creepy are on point. Definitely a weird one to play in the story but a lot of fun in challenge maps. An excellent suit I like a lot. Next we have the long Halloween suit. Now moving forward, all of these suits aren't just favorites from the game, but favorites in general from across comics, movies, TV, and games. Now if this was about the suit in general, it's S tier, a classic Batman suit. But honestly, something about how it looks in the game makes it, yeah, still amazing, but holds it back from being perfect. I like the bat symbol, the tall ears, and especially the dark blue and gray colors, as I love 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 blue on Batman, but it's really the underwear and shorts that hold it back. Don't get me wrong, that can look great on Batman in designs like these, but they're way too long and awkward looking, so it holds it back. Still an excellent suit, but I feel it would have fit Arkham City's aesthetic and Bruce's body much better in that game. So, yeah, still A tier. Then we have the Nightfall suit, which I stole footage of because it ain't on PC unless as a mod for Arkham Knight. From one of Batman's most famous and best stories, Batman Nightfall, which is honestly another personal favorite bat suit of mine in general. It was worn by Azrael, who took over the Batman mantle temporarily after Bane broke Bruce's back, but quickly became far more brutal and vengeful than Bane, leading Bruce to make a badass comeback and return to the cow after an epic fight. Now, I just love the dark, gritty, techy, grungy, edgy, and frankly intimidating design of the suit, with the stunning dark blue and black color scheme with the red eyes, awesome mouthless cowl, the gauntlets, and lack of a bat symbol replaced with... whatever that is. <laughs> are all excellent choices. It's badass and kind of scary looking. I fucking love it. S tier. Definitely wore it a lot when I played it on my PS3 and still love it to this day and love using it as a mod knight. Huge credits to Dante from Dante for uploading this to Nexus Mods. You're a legend, man. In third place, we have the New 52 suit from Scott Snyder's run as a Batman writer. Now, I'm still getting into his run of Batman, but my grandparents bought me volume six, The Graveyard Shift for some reason, so I read that first. And honestly, it was during one of the worst times in my life, and I gotta say, I fucking loved every page. The stories are a mix about Batman's early days, or Zero Year, and then about his days currently with the entire Bat family as he faces the Court of Owls, Clayface, Mr. Freeze, and of course the Joker and many more awesome villains. So I have a huge soft spot for the suit used in it. Now, is the suit's design in the game perfect? No, absolutely not, and it's not perfect in Night either. In fact, I think it looks better here. While I think the eyebrows are a bit wonky and it's slightly awkward fit for Bruce's bulky body design and origins, which I still love as it shows he was a literal tank for a while until he realized he needed to downsize a bit and balance out his weight and bat suit size so he could be more flexible and quick. I friggin love the bat symbol, the belt, the cowl, the perfectly sized ears, almost everything. A truly classic bat suit design. While yeah, the one in Night is more accurate, it just looks so plasticky and fake and like a toy and I don't like it. But yeah, classic bat suit and I love it, S tier. Now the second spot goes to Earth 2 Dark Knight suit, worn by Thomas Wayne, Bruce's dad, as in that universe, like Flashpoint, Bruce got shot and died in the alley and his father became a brutal, vengeful Batman with no rules or codes and I friggin love it. He's always so entertaining and complex when written well. Now personally, I love this suit. I love the red, as usual with most bat suits, the eyes, the smaller but still effective and iconic bat symbol, the cape, everything. It's all just so perfect, and it's not the last time we'll see this suit so high either, but we'll get to that at night. Overall, I love this suit and love using it in the story, so it's an easy S tier. Batman just looks so freaking cool and badass and red. But of course, the number one spot goes to the Batman Arkham Origins suit itself, as it's just so iconic and perfect for the game, and I love it. It's bulky, with lots of armor, a huge bat symbol, balanced ear length, and just all around a pleasure to look at. This game is phenomenal. I don't care what anybody says, and it fits perfectly for a younger Batman that wanted to bulk up and go big with his armor. And although it may hold him back at first because of its size, it's still so effective and badass and I love it. A perfect suit for an excellent story. 
S tier among my favorite bat suits. Also, because it's the same suit but recolored, the Dark Knight suit goes here, but if it's just by itself, it's probably at the bottom for being a cheap recolor. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next suit ranking. Bye!